द समुना के सी पॉडकास्ट अ पॉडकास्ट ऑन पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग एग्जीक्यूटिव प्रोड्यूसर समुना के सी नो नो इज अ फुल सेंटेंस नो इज अ फुल सेंटेंस एंड यू डोंट नीड टू एड नो बिकॉज नो एंड नो बट If you want to add anything after no then you can add no I can't. If you are anything like me you have trouble saying no to people and somehow they have control over their schedule stress trouble and happiness. Not only to bad things many times you will have to say no to the good things as well. It's actually easy to say no to bad things for example say no to drugs sure. Say no to drink and drive absolutely cuz I don't drive. However, it's hard to say no to good. But by saying yes to good, you might be saying no to great. If you have problems saying no and have some boundary issues, then today's episode is for you. Please don't say no. Are you waiting for a light bulb moment or an apple to fall into your head so that you can get all the answers? Hanuman A character in Hindu mythology was cursed and forgot who he was until someone reminded him of his own powers. We are the Hanumans of 21st century. Seldom anyone reminds us of our powers and we rarely believe in them. This podcast is a constant reminder that you are capable. You are enough. You belong and you are a personal brand. My name is Samuna Kesi and please subscribe to the Samuna Kesi podcast on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast and Spotify or any of your favorite podcast platforms. If you want to discover and develop one variable that is under your control and that can make or break your career, business and life as a whole, a personal brand. boundaries are a guard against your heart cuz when you don't set boundaries not only you will get hurt you will feel resentful grudgy guilty and which is against your heart's will you want to feel cheerful free joyful and grateful that's why you got to guard your heart and set some boundaries one shortcut to find out if you are setting proper boundaries or not would be to check if you feel resentful or cheerful after doing something or saying no Boundaries. When to say yes, how to say no to take control of your life by Dr. Henry Cloud. I have been listening to this audiobook for a while and meaning to create an episode on it. As I have noticed, ever since we started this podcast a little over a year ago, the deeper and personal the topic, I have a hard time completing it. You know the dark closet of your psyche where there are many traumas and emotions buried. and you don't want to open it for it may fall all over you and then you will bury in it if not buried you will have to deal with it one by one and you know it is gonna be a mess an emotional and psychological mess as you go deeper you realize there's more mess the only thing you want to do is run away and or good all procrastinate there you go right out of the bat that's one reason you procrastinate cuz it's too personal my journey from codependency to extreme boundaries to empathy and then not understanding the meaning of independence and longing for interdependency while the word longing itself reflects codependency has been tedious these words are mouthful however understanding these terms has become life changing so let's break them down a little bit so codependence codependent person has no idea who they are and what their wants and desires are they constantly look for validation from others especially in a relationship they look for validation from their partners they lean on their partners for comfort they don't even know who they are outside of their relationships needy and clingy 
You are codependent if your happiness depends on someone else. Being an ex-codependent, I can assure you that you can get over it and become independent. The way is the boundaries. Enablers. Enabler is someone who makes things possible for other people, usually in a negative sense. An enabler will go out of their way to help another person, sometimes without understanding that it may harm the other person. Constantly bailing out someone, supporting the adult child with money are some of the examples of enabling. Most parents fall into this category, along with overcompensating spouses, siblings, and sometimes friends. In short, if a bird won't let its children leave the nest, the children will never learn to fly. Enablers, boundaries, please. You might not know, but you are contributing to building a dysfunctional family. Empaths. In season 2, episode 13, episode title, Can We Learn Empathy? We have talked in detail about what is empathy, who is an empath, and how to deal with it, and why it's a good thing to have. To be genuinely interested in people, to listen, to be vulnerable, are actually the attributes of an empath. Most of the actors and creative entrepreneurs are empaths. The chances are you are an empath which makes you vulnerable and strong at the same time. Being an empath is hard. You connect with everything. You are touched by everything. You can feel other people's pain and sorrow and feel horrible. You feel more horrible when you can't do anything about it. Empathy is a blessing that can make this world a better place every day. But empathy without boundaries is a curse. Empaths, boundaries please. Get over your need to save other people to feel better. That is codependency, not empathy. Independent. We all know what independent is. It's great where you don't need anyone whatsoever and you can do everything on your own and you are independent. Turns out, that's not actually what independence is. Independence is not about riding solo and being lonely, because it sucks. You need other people to share your life with. Independence simply means you know who you are, what your wants and desires, and in my personal experience, it's constantly evolving and you are aware of it. Independence is a healthy place where you have some boundaries to avoid dependency conflict. You practice autonomy without having the need to control other people because boundaries are not about telling others what they should do. Rather, it's telling others what you would do. Instead of saying, you can't talk to me like that, try saying you will not accept this kind of behavior because they can't do anything about something you do or do not accept. It's like putting a fence at the edge of your land and practicing autonomy inside it free of guilt, resentment, and grudge. If you are an independent person, there are chances you're falling into a guilt trap. People might sometimes imagine you as a superhero who can make everything happen easily because you are free-spirited and nothing can hold you back. If you are an independent person, there are chances of you falling into a guilt trap. Because you are free-spirited and nothing can hold you back, people might sometimes imagine you as a superhero who can make everything happen easily. When you don't stand the test of their irrational expectation, they might book you a flight for you to guilt trips. Don't board it. You should recognize it and be empowered to say no. Now let's talk about problems in a relationship physical, emotional, and romantic, a financial life, job, business, where lack of boundaries may result not only into overbloated drama, but sometimes serious consequences. Uh, When it comes to physical abuse, when the world went virtual as the effect of pandemic, I took this tiny sigh of relief. At least we won't have to hear about workplace harassments. But before I finished that thought, there were reports saying since the pandemic has started and people are mostly at home, the cases of domestic violence are on the rise. In the romantic relationship, there are many cases where 
one doesn't know what they want in a relationship, let alone communicating it. People either picking some projects in the name of relationship or totally hijacking it. I noticed in myself that I was searching for a father in a relationship, like a codependent who takes care of me. And at the same time, I was trying to save my romantic partner like an enabler. In terms of money, it's easier to talk about sex than about money. Kind of bizarre. People can give all the graphic details of their sex life, but never talk about how much they make, how they make, how much something costs, or about the debt. We spend a whole lot of money and energy again, more money to cover up the financial issues. Why do people do that? When going out with friends, why can't someone stand up and say, we are going to split the bill equally or pay only for the things that we ate? Instead, everyone either depends on others to take care of the bill or pay for everyone and then resent the whole experience forever. It makes the whole experience bitter. In the job setting, working extra hours and thinking your salary is not fair, going into meeting grudgingly, making your um, work BFF, first day at work, and the micromanagers. Back off. Just kidding. You can't say that. You should say instead, "Mm, keep listening and wait for the actionable step. There I will tell you what to say to micromanagers and your bosses. Also, subscribe to the Someone I Can See podcast on Apple Podcasts for more. In business, OMG. Be friendly with your customer and client, but don't make them friends yet. When in doubt, ask yourself, am I treating my clients and customer the way I wish to be treated in the same situation or not? That's it. That's all good to get started with. So don't jump into making friends, making BFF in the business and job setting. Let's move on to the Hanuman moment. Hanuman moment is the moment of resilience where you were feeling weak or confused, didn't know what to do, but then some new people, some new information came into your way and then you came out strong out of that situation. So while reading this book, Boundaries, and then doing more research into it, something, it was not written in the book, of course not. I don't remember if I read it somewhere. Just something just uh, came to me that the importance of gossip. Okay, this is a little bit contradictory to what we are talking today about boundaries, setting boundaries. But then gossiping, I realize gossiping is important to set up boundaries and also like share and then feel light in your chest. So if you have something boiling in your head, in your stomach, you can share it with me. I'll listen to it. And then it's my responsibility to keep it to myself. And then uh, working towards the uh, solutions later. So it is very important to listen to people. It is really important to vent yourself out. Say what you need to say to the person you trust. Build, and, and there is this whole process to build trust before you went out, before you gossip. Go ahead and gossip with somebody. So it's good to gossip, but with boundaries. If boundaries are so good, if not having boundaries is so bad, then why do we not set it in the first place? What are we doing things out of? Why is it so difficult? Anger, emptiness, frustration, inadequacy, helplessness, fear, guilt, loneliness, depression, overwhelm, resentment, failure, sadness, jealousy. These are some of the negative human emotions. According to an article on johnhopkinsmedicine.org, a human being deals with a plethora of emotion at any given time. And the easy way out is to give in and give up on yourself and avoid hard conversations, going with the flow instead of setting some boundaries. The fear that if I place boundaries, someone might leave me. The fear of loneliness is horrifying. Identify where it's coming from. 
I know it's not that straightforward, but we gotta take some baby steps toward it. And here are some of them. One, anger versus boundaries. You don't have to get angry with people who violate your uh, boundaries or who keep asking you something and you, you have to keep saying no to them. Don't be angry. Understand that you don't need to get angry, but you can still say no. Number two, boundaries are not permanent. As I told you, I'll tell you what to say to uh, the boss who is uh, may not respect your boundaries and micromanaging. Turns out there's a TikTok video where she gives an exact script. I have linked the video in the show notes. Show note is available on someoneagassi.com. The gist of the video was to just be positive and explain your situation that your plate is already full and you are better running yourself on your own. You are responsible. And if there will be any space for extra job, extra work, then you will let your boss know. This is the gist of the video. But then if you want the exact words, which is brilliant, please check out the video. The video is available on the show note. Number three. Before uh, saying yes to something, you'll have to ask yourself, can they do it on their own or do I have enough bandwidth to do it or am I becoming an enabler? So if there's some information they're asking you, like a lot of people do on my DMs, that they can simply Google and find it out. So before jumping into rescuing someone, ask yourself, can they do it themselves? Do you have the bandwidth? to do it yourself. Number four, stop fragilizing people. This is again another characteristic of an enabler who thinks that they are the strongest one. Other people are weak. Uh, may it be physically, financially, emotionally or mentally. That's why they want to keep uh, supplying the support to other people in the cost of their own uh, mental peace and uh, happiness. So if you are among 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 enabler, then you will have to understand that not other people are not as weak as you might think them as. They are independent. They can help themselves, and you can help them to uh, for them to uh, be empowered and then stand on their foot. But then eventually they will have to take action. They will have to bring results for themselves. So stop fragilizing people. Instead, empower them. Number five, guilt trap. As we have already talked about guilt trap, do not fall into it. Understand it. Be empowered enough to understand it and communicate and say no. Number six, love everybody and tell the truth. It is again another contradiction, but boundaries or saying no does not mean you hate that person. You hate that group of people who, who try to violate your uh, boundaries, you can love them and then still say no. So this is a very fundamental truth that many religions uh, have it in their scriptures and the leaders of those religions keep uh, uh, preaching it in their writings that love everybody and tell the truth. Number seven, people pleaser versus God pleaser. So who are you? Are you a people pleaser or God pleaser? If you are a people pleaser, then you're going to have a hard time. If you are a God pleaser, then you're going to get a lot of support. So stop being a people pleaser and say no as much as you uh, can or as much as you need to. Number eight, rocking the boat. Before, I used to be this person, this peacekeeper. If anything wrong was happening in the room or somebody was saying something wrong, I would just keep quiet because I would be like, oh, I'll keep quiet and whatever you said was wrong, but then I won't say nothing because I don't want to rock the boat. But then I have evolved into this person where I don't care even if the whole ship sinks. I will say what I need to say and um, keep my boundaries. So don't be uh, afraid to rock the boat, speak your mind. Turns out me speaking up actually adds up to the situation instead of keeping quiet. So keep rocking the boat, people. Number nine, 
big boundaries aka lies so when i was a kid i was always an independent person and my friends somehow knew it uh, but then there was some event that i didn't want to uh, attend or i didn't want to go out with them sometimes or go out to play then i used to say my mom says i can't go out or sometimes i made my mom to go out and tell my friends that uh, she can't come out but then turns out my friends wouldn't uh, believe it uh, that uh, because i was a very independent kid they wouldn't believe that my mom said no and then i just go i didn't came out sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't so if it's a harmless lie then it's sometime was helpful for me to place some fake boundaries to uh, avoid going to the situation where i didn't want to go again that's not a permanent thing you will have to learn to say no directly that no i can come if not i don't want to come you can at least say no i can't so until then if you need some practice try some fake boundaries number 10 and the final one boundaries and abuses you need to set boundaries on your body if you decide that this part of your body doesn't matter what if this part of your body no one can touch it then that's your decision if you set that boundary once and communicated it if needed and if somebody attacks that boundary if somebody try to violate that boundary then that is an abuse because any time uh, a woman comes out and shares her stories of abuses people be like oh he didn't even did much he just asked her if she could go out with him or he just asked her if he could just see her and i'm like why she already has said no she doesn't want to see you that's it set your boundaries and stand strong on it okay because setting boundaries is about yourself it's not about somebody else so decide if it's about your body you decide your boundary that somebody can touch it somebody cannot touch it and if it's about something else other boundaries emotional boundaries financial boundaries then it's upon you to decide it, that this is my boundaries and you can't cross that line once you said that said that you will be a very empowered to do it day in and day out so and then if you have to do some other activities some other practices to to be so powerful to set that boundaries then please do that and set it because setting boundaries is about you understand that you will have to make a bunch of people mad if you want anything significant done so don't avoid conflicts as lord krishna says in bhagavad gita we all have to choose our battles and fight until the end choose your battle wisely there you have it that was our show for today If you like today's episode and think it would be useful for a friend or a family, feel free to share it. Rate, review and subscribe to the Sahuna Kesi podcast on Apple Podcasts or any of your favorite podcast platforms. And if you are listening to this on sahunakesi.com, do not forget to leave your comment and subscribe to the email list to have this podcast delivered directly to your mailbox. And don't forget to discover what you love to do and build a way to get paid for it with getbrandedglobal.com. I'll see you in the next episode. Namaste.